Hi, this is Eric from Overpass. Now I want to take a few minutes to show you how I use Canva, uh, an online image editing tool, to create screenshots for my mobile apps. Now I have skills in GIMP and I have a full-time designer who works in Photoshop. However, I was showing a client uh, the other day how you know how I create the screenshots uh, for my mobile applications using Canva and she was pretty surprised so I, I just I'll go through this here now to give you an idea what I mean uh, let me show you my Google Play page from a couple years ago using Wayback Machine so if I show you here uh, originally when our biggest app Ear Spy was released we had like three screenshots which were just you know uh, if I show you this here we've got Ear spy when it's on, ear sp or ear spy when it's off, then ear spy when it's on, and then like a save as dialog. Now you see a lot of uh, applications like this on Google Play on on iTunes. They're just really just the screenshots. Now, one of the things you need to do to get your apps downloaded more and more often is to get people in. So you're lucky that somebody finds your app in the first place. Yeah, you know they they've done a search, they've they see the icon, and they've gone into it. However, when they see those screenshots, it doesn't really bring, you know, it doesn't really say what to do. So here's the, here's what they look like now. Here's what they look like for the past year or so. So you see, we've got um, much nicer screenshots. So here we go. We got uh, no more secrets. Click here. Uh, click the center sphere. This is the iPhone ver or sorry, the Android uh, phone version, uh, and like that. So it's really kind of just it's doctored up. You know, make it look a lot nicer. Kind of say what it does, and also have some of that are just information, because people are more likely to read what's on the screenshots and to look at the screenshots than they actually are uh, to actually download the app. Now you can do this. You just have to make sure that the size of the screenshots are the same as the size of the app. On iTunes, it has to be exactly the same. Uh, on Google Play, it's kind of has to be you know s similar because there's all different types of, of sizes of phones. Uh, so. What I use, like I said, for, for initially was using GIMP, uh, then we use the, uh, you know, we use Photoshop uh, if the designer works on them. However, sometimes you need to turn things around, you know, quickly. So I can't wait for my designer to do things and I want to drag out the old source code for GIMP. So I use Canva. So Canva, if you don't know, is a, uh, is a free image editing software. Uh, you could create, you know, presentations and blog graphics and Facebook posts and case Facebook cover photos. And it's really, really good. And I've used it for, you know, I've used it for the last, God, it must be a couple years now. So I use it every time I do a blog, I do like a nice post for Facebook. Every time I do a, a you know, an app, I use the, uh, I, I'll do the screenshots for it. So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let's say this app here, it's called Can Text. We released this a few weeks ago. So I was able to use Canva to just go ahead and create a screenshot and create multiple screenshots and add all the text in here, you know, very, very, very simply. So let me walk through how to do this. So let's say I have an app. I have this app here called uh, Mandarin Bubble Bath. So these are the, and oops. And these are the screenshots. So we got just normal screenshots from the app the, you know it's a it's it's not the fastest game in the world so you know it doesn't really give a lot of depth you know the category screen just gone through and cr created a few screenshots if you don't know how to take a screenshot uh, for your app if you're a developer you probably do you can use your emulator your simulator on iOS or or Android or Corona SDK uh, to use it on your phone if you have an iPhone you can do um, I think the uh, home button and the power button on some Android devices is the down volume button and the power button uh, you know devices vary but once you get them onto your computer you, you pretty much have them here so so what I do here to again to, to show you the first thing you do so go back to Canva I go up to the top here I go use custom dimensions because they don't have one for screenshots now for iPhone for iPhone 5 those dimensions are uh, 1136 by 640 and that's for portrait mode so you go ahead and click design same dimensions as an iPhone screen in uh, landscape uh, mode so what what I need to do next is sort of upload my my screenshot so there's an upload section here I've uploaded a few Mandarin bubble baths here already but let me just take one that I've just changed the size of because one of the things that I need to do Let's take an image that is uh, for what I want to show you. As I have to take one that's um, landscape. So let me take this one. Like this. 
move this over so I can drag it all right and just sort of drag this image in and you'll see when you when you hover over it it gets this upload thing cool so now we have a single screen a single canvas the size of a of an iPhone 5 screen so what we could do here is one thing that what Canva has is like an enormous stock image library and they cost like one dollar each to use the stock images so this is Mandarin bubble bath so what I want to do it for a background I want to put uh, is a Chinese something Chinese so here I find um, uh, these Chinese lanterns which is awesome it's great for my the background it's much nicer than just including just a screenshot so here we go cool now there's also a uh, some a lot of things on, on Canva are free so there's one here that I use a lot it's called is the iPhone frame here so you got a lot of different iPhones which you know a dollar a dollar a dollar but there's this one which it doesn't look too bad and I use this one a lot so let me just drag that over here and you see this is a, a frame so you can drag your photo there let me go back to my screenshots I've got my Mandarin bubble bath which I can use for other things and I got this one here so let me just drag that one in there cool right so it's uh that's not too bad let me go ahead and move this up a little bit you got this little twisty thing here now Canva is a bit fiddly sometimes and it's really annoying but I could take this and say make this into a phone with a, sc with a screenshot in it that's probably a little bit bigger I kind of just want this stuff in the background now there we go now this Filter, they have lots of filters and things on, on Canva as well. If you if you use it for blog graphics, then you'll have no trouble doing this. Uh, but uh, you know, like say, I go here and I go filter. What I want to do is give that a little bit, make that a little bit blurry here. So I go to, has a little pop up here. I got advanced options and I got blur. So let me just give that a little bit of a blur. So we got kind of like, you know, the phones in the foreground and the cameras in the background. Cool. So now, I have a phone and I've also got this text. Now, it's this is the bit where you're actually saving time here. So I, I drag on some text here. I'll type, uh, you know, something hyperbolic like the you know, the best Mandarin game in the world. I'll change the color here in a second. Uh, so we just change that to white. Cool. And of course, because it was black, I didn't see it. World. Cool. The best Mandarin game in the world. And uh, you get a lot of the common types of, uh, you know, text editing and image editing here. Now, that's, uh, that's one way of doing that. So that's kind of a nicer looking screenshot than the other one would, would be. But, you know, it's still, it's still not great. But let's have do some more examples here. Uh, so, okay, again, the nice thing about Canva as opposed to Photoshop and GIMP is it has this button over here on the far left called copy this page and what you do there is it just takes it and creates a, a duplicate so there we go we've already got our background we'll get rid of that um, for this one maybe I'll just do uh, take one of my other screenshots here I didn't bring over that many cool so let me just bring over that here and they also have borders so one of the nice things is is to have uh, you have layouts here, so you could do a layout with multiple images, which would look kind of cool, uh, or you could just do like uh, say uh, shapes. So let me just get do a search for shapes. It gives you all the shapes which are free. So let me take uh, my uh, say a nice big orange background here, but let me just make that into uh, let me make it white uh, and give it change the transparency a little bit so it's kind of see-through right and then uh, let's change that text to be to be black again of course you, you could change you could choose from any color uh, and let's go to oops and what we do is we when you click on that you get this floating thing here you can say send it back which is what we need to do because it's way in the front cool so and then uh, We'll say, you know, learn Mandarin easily. Just go ahead and do a bit of reformatting there. Now, depending on what kind of, of design you actually want to do, uh, you, you know, you, you may want to change different things. Or you could put multiple screenshots on one. But the idea is to not just do a screenshot, but to do... Uh, screenshots that say what to do like download now or 
um, you know, the the best game in the world. You 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 have a certain amount of real estate to try to sell people to get them to download it because just because your app is free doesn't mean that they'll they'll download it. You need to actually you know once you get them to find your page, uh, that's great. Now that you got again, you got loads of fonts here. You've got lots of different things to work with. Uh, and then once you get once you finish with this, once you do uh, all five screenshots for so for iTunes, if you don't know iTunes, you have five possible screenshots. You should use all five of them, uh, just because you know, there's no no sense in wasting advertising space, you know, for any reason. Uh, and on on Google Play, you have a lot more. I think it's like eight. Uh, but uh, you, so you can go through and take all your screenshots, put it in here. Uh, create you know different text, different copy, and then once you, when you when you download it, you click download. You could if you paid for anything, you would have to uh, you know they would charge you at this point. You download it as an image, and if you have multiple in the same ones, it'll basically download a zip file with all five images in it, and you just drag those into iTunes or Google Play. Okay, so that and then the other nice thing about this is it's always in your Canva account. So when you're trying this out for uh, a few different uh, you know you know, for say a few weeks and release a new version or on Google Play if you just want to change it up and see if you know that's not working I need to try something else uh, then you could just easily come in here and change the text change the font uh, add in some different screenshots and not have to go through your designer or you know, dress, you know boot up uh, Photoshop or GIMP or anything like that so it, it's very very simple as an Android developer you also have to create a, a feature image which is I think 1024 by uh, 500 pixels, which is kind of an awkward size. So, uh, you know, I've used uh, Canva for that as well. Again, I, you know, I could use other tools, but I just prefer to use that. So here we go. My Canva feature uh, for a, a feature image for an app we did called CanTech. So basically just drag in the icon, uh, put in some, some Canva text here, use that same iPhone screenshot, uh, that frame tool, and uh, change the slogan here at the bottom and try different things and see what works. So, so that's it. Canva is a very good tool. It's very good if you have a blog or a, you know Twitter or Pinterest. Is to use you know Canva. I use it almost on a daily basis. But what a lot of people overlook is that you can use it as a uh, as an app development tool. So that's it. My name is Eric. I make apps. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment if you had, and I'll talk to you later.